this whole show came to pass after I started running in aprons last year um, in preparation for uh, the Riverbank run. I uh, had to downgrade my race plans from the 25K to the, the uh, 10K, and I made this apron to distract myself. So I thought it'd be really fun to try to beat men half my age while wearing an apron. And I did, I, I wasn't the fastest woman out there, but I was the absolute fastest woman in an apron. <laughs> so I um, convinced Safe Haven when I was partnered with the, my charity sponsor, Safe Haven Ministries. And I said, look, I'm not really that good at asking people for money, but I have no problem at all asking people to give up days of their time making aprons, <laughs> sewing, you know, coming and sewing with me. Like, I have no problem to do that. And it seems like, wouldn't it be easier and kinder to ask people just to write you a check? But, but I, on the other hand, no, have no problem asking people for money. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so if you want to give some money, come and see Jill. No, no, go bid on the yeah, aprons. Yeah, but, yeah. And that's, and that's really why we're here today. Is that I didn't want to just ask for pledges. I really wanted to come up with some other way to showcase the talent in West Michigan, too. Because, I mean, if you look around this room, the creativity we're no short of supply, supply here in West Michigan. Um, we, I want to actually start with the children. If, if you're a, one of the children who participated here in sewing, why don't you guys just all come forward. If you're under the age of 18 and you made an apron, if you could please come forward. Woohoo! <laughs> yeah. And the, the kids, the, the aprons, oh, this, I'll go over here, we'll do a little photo out yeah, here. Yeah. yeah, so as you can see, these are young sewers. And they did a great job. And we'll have some prizes in the back of the room. So when I get done talking, meet me in the back, okay? It'll nice be worth your while. Yes. Um, <laughs> thank you so much. And we're going to start with our honorable mentions. And if you guys want to come forward when I call your name, Laura Madison of, Addis of Ada. This is Laura's apron. You have to get the table's kind of obstructing the view right now, but she painted an apron, which is really pretty impressive. So, um, so Laura had um, did a great job. Um, okay, the next person is Barb Leadwater. Right over here, the one with the hands on it. And if you get close to it, the stitching is beautiful. Like she did a really nice job on her stitching. Um, and then Karen Vanover, and actually Karen will not probably be here because she's from Cincinnati, Ohio. So, um, <laughs> so I think uh, it's safe to say that we'll be mailing that. Can I have her by her? Okay, and now for we're going to move on to our third place winner, and that is <coughs> right on top over here. And that apron was made by Judy Ritz of Whalen. <laughs> Superpowers, let me tell you. I tried the to put, I tried, well, no, I, I love it. I, I tried to sew ties together like that, and let me just tell you, it was a wadded mess when I got done. <laughs> and then she had, you know, the wherewithal to also put the little lace at the bottom. I, I really like it. And it makes me think that you need uh, like a beer stein. <laughs> <laughs> because it has a very German, you know. Um, yeah. But no, thank you so much. You did an excellent job. Okay, and second place, we have a, um, kind of a, a recurring uh, award winner here. Um, we need Barb League Water back up here. And everyone will need to turn to the back of the room. Barb's second place apron is the second one from the back. It's the one with the big um, red tie. Uh, award next to it. Up In case you're wondering if we're just giving them boxes, like, <laughs> there's fabric and gift certificates in these boxes. So you get more sewing and a little shopping. Hey, you can never have too much that's fabric. Right. Yeah. That's right. That's right. Yeah. Thank you. I'm just going to add that these boxes, this is artwork that was um, done by the children who are part of our programming. Uh, if you get a chance, if somebody's standing around with a box, just take a look at those. They're, they're quite great. Yeah. yeah. They're quite moving. Okay, so we're going to move on to our first place winner, winner, and that's Linda Boss. And this is Linda's apron right here. And if you, you got to come up and get a chance to look at this. There's, she used her, it's your husband's tie, right? right. Um, and there's little children's faces, and so then she blew up, took that motif and made it into a, a pretty um, outstanding apron. So. <coughs> I'm going to 
turn things over now to Susan is going to do the presentation for, uh, for Safe Haven's Grand Prize Award winner. And um, that apron is right behind me here. So we're going to let Susan do the honors. Um, is Cindy Martini here? Yeah. She actually not judged by the judge from Holland. It was judged by Safe Haven. It was our choice. Um, it's a very meaningful apron to us. If you have the chance to read what um, Cindy wrote here, it's quite amazing. And she uses even our Raymond House, our shelter logo, she used in here. Um, and it was just a very special thing for us. So I want to thank you from Safe Haven for making this apron. It was really quite meaningful to us. So thanks. through this really unique um, venue and with these aprons and she's making a quilt for us which will be on public display later this year as well and um, it's just been a really amazing journey and it's just been really fun to work with her and I just want to thank her from all of us at Safe Haven for everything she's done and in this little pocket there's a little thank you note from all of us. Oh thank you so and, much. And um, the quilt that she's making is using this method of what's called English paper piecing. And so we just put a little bit of that on her apron for her. Thank so. you so much. <laughs> 